application of differential equation. The collapse of Tacoma Narrows Suspension Bridge has been a topic of wide interest for physicists, engineers and mathematicians for many years on the basis of study through differential equations. You can see the image of broken bridge on the right hand side. Let's see the background of this event, how it occurred, when it happened. In the state of Washington, the construction of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge was completed and opened to the traffic on July 1st, 1940. You can see this image of grand opening ceremony of this bridge. More than 1000 people were there. With the whopping 1.9 km in length, the Tacoma Bridge was one of the largest suspended bridges built at the time. It was the very first bridge to incorporate a series of plate girders as roadbed support and the first bridge of its type cable suspension. It was also the third largest suspension bridges of its time with a 2800 feet central span and two side spans of 1100 feet each. Professor F. B. Farquharson of the University of Washington. You can see him on the left hand side. He was responsible for conducting experiments to understand the oscillations. The bridge connecting the Tacoma Narrows Channel collapsed in a dramatic way on Thursday, November 7, 1940, around 11 in the morning. It lasted only for 4 months and 7 days. Winds of 65 to 75 km per hour produced an oscillation which eventually broke the construction. A three-dimensional scaled model of 1 is to 200 scale was built for wind tunnel experiments and to explicitly understand the reason for failure. The experiments brought about a new theory, wind-induced oscillations. You can see here the vibrations on the bridge. The second clave, terrific vibrations on the bridge. After several months and years of workout, scientists eventually reached to understand this phenomena on the basis of partial differential equation. However, a simplified model leading to a nonlinear ordinary differential equation can be constructed by taking into account Hooke's law with compression constant A and stretch constant B. The vertical deflection of a slice of rod bed attached to the cable of a bridge, Yt, where T represents time and Y equal to zero represents the equilibrium position of the rod. Due to the von Kármán vortices effect, the upward restoring force equal to by when Y greater than zero and the downward restoring force equal to Ay when y less than 0. This change in the Hooke's law constant at y equal to 0 provides the nonlinearity to the differential equation. We are thus led to consider the differential equation derived from Newton's second law of motion, my double dash plus fy equal to g of t, where fy equal to by if y greater than 0 and fy equal to Ay if y less than 0. g of t is the applied force and m is the mass of the section of the roadway. A particular case may look like y double dash plus 4y equal to sine of 40 with reasonable initial conditions y at 0 equal to 0, y dash 0 equal to 0 0.01 so that the roadbed starts in the equilibrium position with a small downward velocity. The solution in the first interval 0 to pi by 2 will be looking like the given expression. It is to be noted here that the velocity will increase for successive periods or cycles. And hence, we can study the deflection function over a span of some fixed interval as well. Finally, it should be remembered that the model presented here is a very simplified and one dimensional that can't take into account all of the intricate interactions of real bridges. So, you may now know the difficulty level of this problem. This was a great example how differential equations are involved closely with human activity. I hope with this minute demonstration you will be able to explore much more in this field. Good luck friends.